Good morning and welcome to another one of our Wellness at Home videos. Um, if we haven't met before, my name is Laura Ann Grace and I'm the Wellness Supervisor here at Blakeford Senior Life. And today we've got a floor exercise video for you. Um, so you can do this at your own apartment. You can um, come down to the group fitness studio and do this in class with us. Um, but today, all the exercises that we do, you can do on your bed, on the mat, um, depending on the size of your couch, you could even do them on your couch too. Um, in this video, I will be using a yoga strap for some of our exercises. If you don't have a yoga strap, then a towel would work just fine. Uh, maybe an exercise band, if you have one, would work fine too. Anything that you can loop around your foot and then hold on to. We'll also be talking a lot about this concept of dynamic tension. So instead of just kind of sitting idle, we can sit active. We can engage that core. We can engage through our limbs. We can engage through our, our uh, uh, legs as well. So follow along with me and let's get started. So for the first part of class today, we're actually gonna be seated in a chair. We're gonna do a little bit of a warm up. So I want you to sit on that seat, however is comfortable, but we're gonna first start with a big stretch up and down. And a deep breath in again. And down. Two more times with this. And last one. This time you're gonna bring your hands all the way down to your knees. And we're gonna do a little forward fold. All the way up, big stretch. And hands to the knees, forward fold. Good. Big stretch. Kind of just breathing through each motion. Now, this time, big deep breath in, hands to the knees. As you lean forward, you take those hands down to your feet, head down as well. We'll come back up, big stretch, and down. Hands to the feet, kind of reaching towards the floor, and back up. We'll do two more of these, hands to the knees, and then hands to the floor. And again, one more time. Now I love this one, y'all know this already. Scoop and pull your input one foot forward and pull back, other foot forward and pull it back. Scoop and pull. Really warming up the back of your legs, through your spine, through your arms, scoop and pull. After this foot, let's do once more each leg. Pull, last one, scoop, and pull, very good. You're gonna take a little windmill stretch, one arm up and over, and the other arm up and over. Once more, each side, making sure we're breathing deep in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. let's roll those shoulders back. As long as it's comfortable, you can get those elbows into those shoulder rolls, but we're about to stay on the ground for a little bit. So I want you to exaggerate that spine, kind of curve forward, arch back. Just make sure we're waking everything up. Good, two more. And last one, kind of shake it all out. Very, very good, kick those feet a little bit and we can reach towards that foot. You don't have to touch your toes, but if you can, great. If not, great too. Big kicks, very good. And two more, last one. Very good, last stretch here. I want you to separate those feet. My feet are a little elevated because of my stage here, but you're gonna take big circle around, kind of warming up those hips all the way around. Let's do three circles each direction. So this will be our last circle. We'll come all the way up and switch. Three circles going this way. Very good, two, 
And last one. Big stretch up and down. Walk those feet in. We can roll those shoulders again. Arms can come down, uh, circling those ankles, circling our wrists. Very good. And then other side. Good. Shaking out those arms however you need. A few extra kicks. And one last deep breath in and out. I'd say we're ready to get started uh, getting down to the floor. Go ahead, you're gonna stand up. Let's go through our steps. Strong leg on the outside. Inside knee comes down. Outside knee will follow. Hands down to our mat. You're gonna push your weight into your hands. Lift and sit on the hip. And then go ahead, lower yourself down. And then roll to your back. And we'll take those breaths again. Nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Drawing that belly button into your spine. It's important to realize that it's not a race. It's never gonna be a race to get down to the mat. You're always gonna take your own pace there. Let's take two more breaths. with some hip mobility, hip and lower back really, mobility here. So we're gonna do some tilts this time uh, for our hips. So I want you to take your arms out to the side and just have them there like a uh, lowercase t. So I want you on each inhale, uh, or rather each exhale, you're gonna do uh, this exercise here. So inhale, exhale, you're gonna tilt back, kind of pressing your lower back into the mat. Inhale, exhale, you're now gonna tilt forward. And just as I said in the other clip, you're not to lift your lower back up off the mat. We're actually doing it as an exercise here. So inhale, exhale, we'll tilt back. Inhale, exhale, tilt forward. So we're changing with every breath. And again, wherever you're tilting, either back or forward, you're thinking about drawing your belly button towards your spine. Two more here. Turn to our home base position. I want you to press that lower back into the mat. And now we're going to move on to our lower trunk twist. So I personally like to back my feet up a little bit. Not all of us are going to have the same range of motion in our knees. So put your legs however is comfortable for you. They can be together, they can be a little bit apart. But you are going to then drop your knees to one side. We're going to try and keep our shoulders on the mat, okay? We draw, we feel that stretch through the side of our leg, through your back. And we're doing a little more mobility work here. So we're going to flow through the middle and then to the other side. Again, when you're ready, you come up middle and the other side. Inhale those knees up, exhale, move to the other side. So each time, see if you can drop those knees down a little bit further. This is also a great stretch if you hold it 
um, a little bit longer. Maybe you feel a little tight in your hips, tight in your lower back, and you want to kind of stay there for a little bit longer. You can do that if you'd like. So we're gonna keep moving in this video though. And we're always checking that lower back to the mat and you're finished. You're gonna take feet to the mat, knees are straight up. Let's do two breaths in and out. Drawing that belly button to the spine on the exhale. shoulder mobility next. So I want you to move your hands down to your sides on your mat. Okay. Always making sure that we're pressing that lower back into the mat. We're drawing that belly button to our spine. We're going to take hands up in, uh, in front of us, but in your perspective, they look like they're pointing to the ceiling. And we're just going to take our arms over your head. Now we don't want to force anything. So I want you to stop there and then gradually take your arms back down. So we're not holding anything in this version of this exercise. You're going to take those hands up and then down as far as you can and then taking those arms back up towards the ceiling down to your side. So we're taking everything slow You might feel that one shoulder is tighter than the other shoulder. I know for me that's my left. My left shoulder is always a bit tighter than my right. But with each pass, we want to see if we can work a little further down towards the floor. Let's do two more, reaching up. And then on this last one, we are going to hold just for a couple more seconds. Deep breath in and out. Arms will come back up. And we'll take them back down to your mat. Good, let's take two breaths here. Okay. We're gonna build a mobility pattern um, here next. So we're gonna start with uh, just one exercise for us today it'll be our knee um, squeezes to our chest but then after four of each we're going to add another movement so then by the end of this exercise we'll have four mobility movements um, kind of all in one so uh, I want you to take your arms right back out to the sides and our first one is just going to be a knee to, your, to our chest so um, it doesn't matter which leg you start with, but I will start with my left. So I'm going to take my left knee into my chest and then take it right back down. Toe first on the mat and then roll that heel down. Other side. Knee to your chest and back down. That's one. So every time you bring that knee to your chest, you want to keep your upper body as still as possible, especially in between lifts. So you don't want to wobble to the next. You want to slowly lift that knee up, slowly take it down, ground yourself as you switch legs. That's three. And here's four. This time, we're gonna add an extension, knee into your chest. Extend all the way down. I want you to flex that ankle. Extend that leg down your mat. Find all that length. 
bend that knee back in and lower down. Knee to your chest, flex the ankle, extend it straight down your mat, pull it back in and place it down. That's one. Now here's where our concept of dynamic tension comes in. I'm creating dynamic tension in that leg. I'm pressing that leg straight, pulling it back in and down. Versus if I just extend, but there's no muscle engagement in that leg. It just kind of gets there. We want to push that leg straight, pull it back in and down. Knee to your chest, extend it down. Knee in, place the toe, roll to the heel, other leg. Last one, each side. Keeping that core tight. Drawing that belly button to your spine. Last one with just the knee and extension. Good job. Now we're going to add a lift. So knee comes into your chest. We extend that leg down. We're going to keep it straight. You're going to go from your hip flexor, lift that leg up, lower it down. And then we're going to add a little bit of a lift with our head as we pull our knee in. I want you to close your hands, chin to your chest, lift your head. Place it all down. Knee into your chest. Straighten that leg. Leg lift. Lower it down. Now as your knee comes in, tuck the chin. Grab a, with uh, your arms around your leg and then lower back down. So we get that upper spine working a little bit more too. Straighten down your mat. Lift that leg up. Lower it down. Pull your knee in, tuck the, ch the chin to chest, take the legs around, the hands around your leg. Lower back down. Sometimes I misspeak. Knee into your chest, extend that leg, lift the leg, lower it down, bring the knee in, ch tuck the chin, wrap the arms, lower down. Last one on each side. Knee in, extend out. Lift the leg, lower it down. Knee to the chest, lift everything, wrap the arms, lower it down. Last one on this leg. Knee in, extend, lift, lower. Knee in, chin tuck, arms wrapped, and place it down. Three breaths. are going to move on to some strength next. So I want you to take your arms down to your sides and we're going to start with our glute bridge. So I want a little bit of separation in your feet and your knees pointing straight up. You are going to start this glute bridge by pressing through your heels. Think about digging those heels into your mat. I want you then, you're going to lift your pelvis up and I think bottom of your pelvis, then the top of your pelvis, then your lower back. You're going to keep going all the way to where you're kind of on your shoulders there on the upper back. Okay, You're engaging the glutes, you're pressing your heels down to, into the mat, and we're going to lower back down. Lift up. And lower. As you lower down, really make sure that you're going each vertebra at a time. We don't want to just flop our, our hips down back to the mat. We want to be nice and controlled.
two more. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and take those arms right back out to the sides. That's where we'll start for our next one. But let's take two uh, breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. For our next one, I want us to get kind of in a ball position to start. So we're going to take one knee up into our chest, always check that lower back, and then we're going to grab hold of that knee. We're going to lift our other knee also, grab hold of that as well. So when you're here, you can take a little rock side to side, kind of pedal those feet a little bit, whatever feels great uh, on that lower back. But we're going to go into our um, Pilates bicycle crunches here. So you're always going to be thinking belly button and towards your spine. Okay, We want that core engagement there. And then this is optional. You can do these with your head on the mat. If you want a more intense version, think tucking your chin, lifting your shoulders. But then here, we never want to disengage that chin tuck. We want to keep our head up uh, the whole time, chin to chest there, okay? So those two options, you can do this flat on the mat as well, okay? So I'm going to show it flat on the mat for that modification. If you want your chin up, go ahead and lift it up again. But you are going to move both hands to one knee, extend that leg that you've let go there, okay? Now, while you're extending this uh, extended leg, you want to pull on this bent leg, and then we'll switch, and switch. So remember here, chin can be up. If this is too intense or painful on your neck, go ahead, lay it down. sounds funny, but it's really easy, especially when you're working that core, to hold your breath. We don't want to do that. So you're inhaling, exhaling. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. You're going to bring both knees back into your chest. We're going to take one leg down, then the other leg. Arms can go either out to your sides or down uh, uh, on the mat if you'd like. I like to have mine out. Two breaths. All right, and we're moving right along. You can keep your arms out to the side for this uh, next one here. And then we're going to do some leg lifts. So uh, whichever leg you start with, I'm going to start with my left. I want you to ex uh, flex your ankle, extend your knee down. So you have one extended leg and you have one leg, uh, one foot still on the mat. This leg does not have to be all the way on the floor. In fact, I want you to keep that dynamic tension. I want you to keep your lower back into the mat. So you might actually lose all that if you put it on the mat here. So nice and ready. We're going to lift just like in our mobility exercise, but we're really gonna focus on engaging that core. Lower it down. Lift and lower. Lift. Good. We wanna keep that knee as straight as is comfortable. All the way up. And down. We're going to do three more. Now pay attention to this opposite side. We don't want that knee to go every which way. We want to keep it nice and stationary. Last one. And go ahead, pull that foot back to the mat. We'll gently switch, extend the other leg, 
Remember, we want this baseline now to stay as still as possible. You're using your core to exhale, lift that leg. Extended, keep that dynamic tension there. Last one. Very good. And then take that foot back down. Let's do two recovery breaths here. strength portion. I know y'all love this one. It's called Dead Bugs. It's very appropriately named and you'll see why if you've never done Dead Bugs before. But like we did our Pilates crunches, I want you to take uh, one knee up and then you'll follow with the other knee. So with Dead Bugs, you can do them here, but you're not going to get the full uh, benefit of the exercise. So we want to think pressing those toes forward, 90 degrees in the hips, 90 degrees in the knees. Okay. And then let's just talk about the lower body real quick. You're going to take one leg, flex the ankle, take it down, pull it back up, other foot, flex the ankle, take it down, nice and slow. Okay. Now let's talk about the upper body. You're going to start with your hands straight out from your shoulders, reaching to the ceiling. Okay? Now with your hands, one arm stays stationary while the other extends over your head. You pull it back in. Other arm extends over your head. You pull it back in. Okay? Now, let's put it together. So you bring the feet up. Arms are in front. Okay? You're going to extend one leg, extend opposite arm, pull it back in, other side, good, so we're going to keep going, the trickiest part of this exercise is to keep the stationary side stationary, okay? it's really easy to kind of let it droop and go together, but you want it to be Still and control. You take these slow. Now you see why they're called dead bugs. <laughs> down and extend. Down and extend. Good. We're going to do two more each side. Last one. When you finish with your dead bugs, you can take your feet down. We're going to take three recovery breaths. Hands can go wherever is most comfortable for you. We are going to do a little stretching next. So. Uh, let's start with alpha strap. We'll grab that in just a second. But I want you to go ahead, pull one knee into your chest. We're going to wrap our arms around. And then I want you to walk this bottom leg straight and as straight as you can get it. So if there's a little bit of a bend in your knee, that's fine. If you want even more of a stretch, you can flex your ankle. And then you feel it stretch through your calf. So we're going to hold this here today for three long breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth.
with the same side hand as the leg you have raised up. So for me, that's my left side. I want you to keep holding on with that arm. You're gonna open the opposite arm up and then take that hip just out to the side very slightly. You can keep it raised up or if you feel more of that stretch and lowering your knee down a little bit, that's fine too. Just kind of open up your hips there. Two more at this point. Deep breaths in and out. Good. You're going to bring that knee back to the middle. Go ahead and switch hands then. You're going to take that same side hand out and we're holding across your body. And then we're going to pull that knee across your body. So however far is comfortable for you, not everyone is going to have the same degree of stretch, but I want you to try your best to keep those shoulders on the mat. It's kind of like our trunk twist from our warm up, but a little more intense version. Gently come back to the mat. Go ahead, keep this knee up, pull your other knee in. And then both hands are gonna go to that opposite side. You're gonna stretch that leg all the way out, wherever it is. If it's bent a little bit too, that's fine. But take it all the way out uh, down your mat. And we'll take our three breaths in and out. that knee back to the center. Switch hands. Open up that uh, same side arm out to the side. Now you're going to cross over and it's again like our lower trunk twist. Just a little bit more intense version. I got to be careful. I might fall off uh, my stage here. It happens often. If we're trying to relax into the stretch, I want you to fight to keep those shoulders still on the mat. I pull back into the center. We'll pull both feet in to our chest. Go ahead and give a little pull. And then we'll lower our feet back down. Two breaths, and then we'll get that strap. We are going to move into some deeper stretches with our strap next. So go ahead, reach for your strap, and we're going to start with our lower body. So you're going to take your strap, I want you to sink knee into your chest, lift the chin to your chest, and then you can get that strap right on your foot there, okay? Now we're going to do some uh, hip flexion and some knee extension. So you're holding on to each side of your strap here, okay? And then I want you to think about bringing that knee closer to your chest and then straightening your knee very, very slowly. And we'll bend knee to your chest and extend. Knee to your chest and extend. 
So not everyone is going to have the same range of motion. So while I'm here, you might be a little here. That's okay. But whatever we do, we want to think pulling toward you, so keeping that tension straightening steady as much as you can. you to bend your knee. You're going to take this strap off. Go ahead and put that foot down. Other side. Take that knee up, chin to your chest, hook that strap around, and then again we'll start with a bent knee and you're thinking how close can I get that knee to my chest. So I'm going to bend and straighten out. Bend and straighten. So if this is uncomfortable for your hands to hold the strap in this way, you can always loop that strap around your hands. But the important part is we want to keep that tension through your strap as you straighten that leg. to lift up. You can bend your knee down. Take that strap off. Lay that foot. All right. Next one. We're really going to use the strap to help us get into this position. So knee into your chest. We'll hook that strap again. Okay. So now I want you to rotate from your hip. So your knee is going to point out. Your foot is going to hover over this base leg, this bottom leg here that is not in uh, the strap at all. So you're going to cross your foot over uh, your knee and then here you can let go of those straps, kind of just lay them down beside you. All right, so I've crossed my left leg over. I want you to take your left hand, just place it right on your, the inside of your leg here. Then with your right hand, the opposite hand, you're going to place it on your right hip. And we're going to get this kind of push and pull kind of feeling here. So pushing into that leg, pulling the hip back. And then we, I feel this stretch right here in my hip. And we'll just hold. hands and then from here we're going to go into our figure four stretch. So we're going to leave this foot, of uh, this leg crossed over but this base leg, that's what I want you to lift off of the mat now. So you're going to think engage your core, pick that foot up and here we see the ankle of our hip is increasing. We've, uh, we're going to thread the needle so right arm on the outside, left hand is going to go between your legs and we're going to reach around and grab uh, behind your hamstring on that base leg. So we're getting a big stretch in the hip and in the glutes. Um, I love this stretch. We've also called it the pretzel uh, before. You definitely feel like a pretzel here. But to intensify this, I want you to think pulling that bottom leg closer to you, kind of pushing your knee into the side of your leg. And 
Okay, so you're going to go ahead and let that stretch go. Place that foot back on the mat. And then we can grab your strap. Then lift that foot up first. And then turn your leg parallel. And then here's where you can reach up. Grab that strap. Take your foot down. All right, other side. We're going to bend the knee. We take our strap up. Using your strap to help you, you're going to rotate this leg out. Knee is pointing out, toes are still facing up, but your foot is hovering over your base leg. And let's do kind of the push and pull stretch first. So my right foot is across. I'm going to take my right hand to the inside of my right thigh, left hand to my left hip bone, and then kind of push and pull. And we're going to go three very slow breaths. From here, let's go into our figure four. So we're going to lift that base leg up off of the mat. Your leg is still across uh, over. Outside arm reaches around to the outside. Inside arm is going to thread the needle and then we hold on um, at your hamstring if that's what's comfortable for you. So again, here we're going to hold for three slow breaths. take our leg, hands off of that leg. We'll take our foot back to the mat. You can grab your strap, lift your foot up first, then rotate that leg to parallel. And you can take that strap off. Very good. Last one here. Um, it's very similar to what we did at the beginning of this video. So I want you to fold your strap in half, okay? And your lower body can be wherever uh, is comfortable for you. You can have your heels and toes on the mat just like this. If you want an extra stretch, you can actually do this upper body in a butterfly position. So knees are going away from each other, out um, uh, in the turned out position, kind of like butterfly wing. And then the bottoms of your feet can come together here too. Just make sure that you're keeping uh, your core engaged and your lower back um, supported, it's really easy to kind of arch up in this one. So with your strap, you're going to start kind of by your waist and you're going to slowly take that strap up and then keep lifting up over your chest or over your head. <laughs> you can take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And exhale. Start to lift those hands up all the way back to your waist again. One more time. I want you to take your hands a little closer together. Again, you'll start at your waist. You want to press out and up. Hands up to the ceiling. And then slowly let those hands go up over uh, your head. And you're stopping wherever you feel that stretch. You don't want to force anything. Deep breath in. Exhale. Those hands come up. And you can take your strap to the side. Start to bring those knees in together. 
and then I'm gonna take four more breaths all in your own time. Kind of lay in on the floor. You can find whatever position you want to. If you want to kind of extend a little bit more, you can. If you would like to fill the time with our lower trunk twists again, you can do that. But I want four big deep breaths in and out, nice and slow. of getting up. So we're just going to reverse uh, the, the steps that we took to get down to the mat here. So you're going to pick your side. You're going to go ahead and roll to it. Okay, Go all the way over on your side here. Next, you're going to take your arms, push up from the floor, and we find ourselves sitting here in our little mermaid position. Then you're going to put your weight into your hands. You're going to engage the core, lift the hip, and then we find yourself on all fours. So this is the most mobile of all the positions. So just then I was a little catty cornered on my mat getting up. This is the easiest position for you to kind of move about if you need to. If you need to pull your uh, chair closer to you, you can do that as well. So you're going to find your chair. If you need to have a hand on it, go ahead, lift your upper body, hand on the seat of your chair, outside leg, that strong leg from before. That's what's going to come up first, so outside leg. You can put a hand on your knee as well. You're going to push your way into that leg. You're going to push up helping yourself up with your upper body. Plant that second foot first, and then go ahead, stand up all the way. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a cool down in your chair again. So let's take big stretch up and down. And remember always with those steps that we take to get up or down to the mat, this is not a race. It, uh, it's all in your own time. So. Go ahead, grasp those hands. Let's take uh, a few side bends. Kind of moving that spine around from being completely supported uh, on the floor. You're gonna do a little forward fold. Let's take those hands all the way down as well. And we're gonna come up tall. Kind of rolling those shoulders again. And like we did in our warm up, exaggerate that movement. I want you to kind of curve forward, arch back. Curve forward, arch back. Good. Two more times. Last one. Good. We can shake those arms out a little bit, kick those feet. And then give yourselves a little round of applause. We always do a little golf clap in this class. So thanks for coming today. It was fun making this video for you. And um, hope to see you in our next class.